This network called BFM started out as a Danish network. Um, uh, we formed uh, the, the Nordic Film Composers Network and later on Harper, which is a prize uh, that's supposed to, to, to give more focus to, to film music in the Nordic countries. Right now, I think we're in the middle of a total change, a rapid change, and it's very globalized. This thing about having a prize, it's also something that spurs us towards meeting once a year and, 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 and exchanging, and I think opening up the doors is just good for us. I'm here at the, the Nordic Film Music Days um, to connect with other uh, Nordic uh, film composers. We have a lot of uh, knowledge that we, we all can share. Listening to what people say and ask, it makes you reflect and it makes you think in different ways. It gives you like um, new fuel for, uh, for your work, yeah. Yeah, so I, I just came out of uh, a, a lecture that I had together with uh, director Bent Hammer and uh, we talked about um, how film music can color a movie and how to put a signature, musical signature in a film. To, to make a film is a long process and, and it's it's all about communication, I guess, if, if it's going to work. And it's fun for me also that he makes so much room for the music. I'm here to, uh, uh, yeah, just to uh, suck in some information and some, meet some new people. I'll be attending the speed datings later on today. Um, and it's mainly producers, uh, one director, perhaps exchange some cards and uh, possibly get some contacts for the future. I think it's a great, really great idea to put producers and composers in speed meetings together. That's, that's fantastic. I was invited to be part of the jury. The winner is Danny Bjarnson for Under the Tree. I'm incredibly honored. To, to be accepting this, this award for, for Daniel and, and to be working with, in fact, a great talent. It is so rare we get the opportunity to, to meet and, uh, and just sharing our experiences, telling about our projects and, and how we each handle the issues we run into differently. It's, it's immensely gratifying and it, it's, uh, it's very inspiring to go back home and continue your work having spent a couple of days uh, in the great company of all these, uh, of these amazing composers. I made the Danish Film Music Archives, uh, and one of the things I realized pretty early on was that in some of the warehouses, there were also tapes from Nordic composers. And it just made me realize, sort of think about, well, I wonder how, how things are preserved in the other Nordic countries. But it, it would be fun afterwards to, to collect the data and see what we actually have in common, where this mysterious Nordic tone came from. Because it's, it's buried somewhere in our, in our past, for sure. Film is obviously, along with music, one of the most popular forms of entertainment and arts. There are several examples where like, music is just so central to the movie that it wouldn't work otherwise, I think. I'm really grateful that we have this community. As a composer, you get this amazing survival skill. And yeah, it's good to know that you're not alone. <laughs>